I'm Sarah Scott, and welcome to LUTV Sports Break, where we will discuss interesting sports topics with our panel of sports reporters. Whistle While You Work was an enjoyable tune for Snow White and the Seven Doors, but not for the players of the NBA. After the first game of the Western Conference semifinals between the Houston Rockets and the Golden State Warriors, players and fans are calling the referees' performances foul. With questionable calls and an ejection, many players and fans feel officials are having too much of an effect on the game. Panel, are the referees making the right calls or are players and fans whining entirely too much? Um, I definitely think after watching game one, there were a few missed calls, but I don't think players should allow it to affect their game. Like, I don't think the game should, if you're really that good, the game shouldn't be close enough that one or two calls are going to affect it. Also, you've been playing this game for how long? You're going to have so many missed calls in your career as an athlete that at this point, it, sh it shouldn't affect your mentality of the game. Right. Mm -hmm. I feel I, like even the, even the last <laughs> two minutes reports admitted that uh, exactly. the referees were wrong. I think one of the things that the last two minute report does is show us that referees can't make mistakes. But like Emily said, you should never allow it to get that close to um, let a ref decide if you're going to win or not. Mm -hmm. Ejection wise, you should be able to control your attitude knowing that, OK, I'm in a close game. Um, it can come down to having the greatest shooter of our time right. shoot the three point mm -hmm. ball. And I can't affect the game from the locker room. So he shouldn't. Have, I can see him being passionate, but he shouldn't have let himself get emotional like right. that to get ejected. At that level, and at any level past Little League, I feel like you should be able to keep your cool. It's just a sportsmanship thing. Mm -hmm. And also, like, every sport is 90% mental. And I've been told that my whole life, playing sports, playing, playing volleyball. And like Emily said, like, you can't let one play affect you. And you also need to play better. You have to be playing better than the team that you're playing against. Right. And if you're doing that, it's not going to come down to a couple points. You can't stop playing because you're mad. And you can't stop playing because you're losing. Like, you should want to play up constantly. Mm -hmm. Especially, like, let the refs fuel you into doing something better, you know? Right. I mean, the refs do have a, have a part to play in the, in the way the game goes. But, I mean, I agree with all y'all points, but it also comes down to a point that, like, um, the rest got to do better with the calls. You know what I'm saying? You just yeah. can't let uh, the game just have a – have a, a a flow has to come to the game to where the game – we can see a good game come from these great players that are in the league. So, I mean, like, the rest do have a play in what in – in how the game goes. They definitely do, but I think the uh, players on the court have more in a effect. I think also to say about the refs, they kind of getting soft now. Like a lot of things you could get away with, you cannot get away with now. And the players need to realize that as well as fans, because I know myself, I get passionate. If somebody makes a call that I don't like, I'm going to be on them. But that's me from the couch, mm -hmm. not me from the floor right, where I can course. get ejected or get my uh, get a foul. So the refs need to either, we need to keep the same refs for the entire series, which that's not going to happen. Gonna happen. Yeah. Or we need to have the refs all call it the same way, which that's not going to happen gonna because happen. all refs have their own personality. But as a player, you can, you should be able to adjust your game to the refs. Like, you know that they're going to be harder on stuff, stuff, on some stuff or more lenient on other stuff. Adjust your game. Like by the second quarter, you know what they're going to be doing. Yeah. So adjust like, your yeah, game true, to that. True, Looking true. at the players, I know, especially like, James Harden was one of the main ones whining about the calls from the first game. James Harden is the last person who should be whining about foul Absolutely. calls. But that man has been fouled on like 95 three pointers. But it's working but, for but, him. But it's working for in the him. first game, exactly. you know, you got to see that there, there was some missed calls, though. He did get fouled. Both fouled. ways. In there the, were both the ways. Area, we actually have a video. Area. We actually have an interview from James Harden and Draymond Green talking about the calls after the first game. So if we could just take a look at that. So let's be called. I've been fouled by James on a James three-pointer before. I ain't trying to hear that. I think we can all sit here and complain about calls after every game. That's just the nature of the game we play. Refereeing is an inexact science. So it is what it is. What can I do about it? <laughs> I, w I was told the same thing at half. And there's probably a couple more in that second half. I mean. I just want a fair chance, man. Uh, call the game how it's supposed to be called, and, and, and that's it. And I'll live with the results. But when you – especially we all know what happened, you know, a few years back with Kawhi. Like, that can change an entire series. Just call the game how it's supposed to be called, and, and we'll live with the results. And, and it's, it's plain and simple. 
Harden. That's good. So, Dray- so Harden said he wanted a fair chance. Right, yes. Correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. The crazy thing is, he's had a fair chance. He, he, all he had the fair chance. You're not all getting the calls now. now. He had more than a fair chance. chance. The only reason he's not getting the calls now, right. the cause now is because you made that same mistake of showing the referees how you play during the season. And now the refs stricter. know, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. this is what James Harden likes to do. So let me make sure I call this foul to make sure mm-hmm. that James Harden knows that and this then is on not top the of way that, you can do that. The players are picking up on James Harden's tactics, like of what he does to get to the line or what he, how he's playing to get to the line. Uh, to get those free shots, to get the call, to get the foul calls, he, they're picking up on everything James Harden does. If you watch James Harden shoot an uncontested three pointer, he just shoots it, goes straight up, comes down. When he's contested, he jumps like in a pike position. And last time I checked, you do not need to shoot a three pointer in that position. You just My jump thing up about that and is jump. That's how people get hurt. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like Jalen Rose Spurs fan um, watching Kobe Bryant get hurt yeah. Yeah. after Zaza Pachulia got his feet under him. Hmm. I mean, that kind of stuff makes me so mad. Never in my life would I ever think that I would agree with Draymond Green on anything because I'm not a big fan of him. But what he said here, what shows a true athlete mentality, like you're going to have the bad calls, yeah. but you have to work through it and you can't let that affect like the way that you play. It's That's ridiculous. And this is when crunch you have time. five all-stars on your team. This is crunch time, That's true. okay? But Look, here. this is playoffs. You cannot be crying, dog. For real. And Look. like he he got mad, he got poked in the eye or whatever. I played volleyball through three broken like three and volleyball games with a broken that. wrist. You just sometimes as an athlete you get hurt. You got to keep going. But he's yeah. got to keep up that flop mentality. You know, like if he if he has to fake it on like little calls, like just imagine what he has to do Especially to keep up the action. Fake it till you make it. Oh, fake like it you make I mean, it works for him. Warriors. Like I'm a I'm a Rockets fan. But that's fan, not basketball. It's just play the game. Mm-hmm. I don't want to watch you roll on the ground. I want to watch you shoot and score threes. I want to watch you play and win games. It's entertaining. It's entertaining, at the very least. I want to go back to the time where Kareem Abdul-Jabbar got hit in the stomach, and then he just hauls off and just <laughs> They don't take bad players like that anymore. They do not make that, players that's, like that anymore. That's how you, like, I don't know. People might think I'm crazy. They don't make players like the Celtics or the Detroit bad boys. They don't make them anymore. Mm -mm. Everybody wants to cry. It's definitely definitely a different game. But thank you, panel, and thank you for tuning in to LUTV Sports Break. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for more Lamar University sports. We'll see you next time.